wet, and a wonderland for mosquitoes. June and July are typically the worst months for the bold bloodsuckers. We live in the country, so there tends to be a big population of mosquitoes. Linda Price is a frequent target. They also favor her daughter. She gets bit a lot especially down on the legs. As a biting mosquito fills itself with blood, it injects saliva into your skin. Proteins in the saliva trigger an immune system reaction that results in itching and a bump. But doctors warn their bite may be loaded with disease. You basically watch out for any signs of any fever, any rigors, night sweats, chills. If those things are happening, you need to let your doctor or go to the ER immediately. The breeds of mosquito that carry deadly encephalitis, West Nile virus, and even dengue fever are all found flying in Florida. The young and old are most at risk and should take care. The immune systems are, are lower in the elderly and in the young, so protective clothing, repellents uh, like uh, DEET, try not to stay outside. Uh, once it gets dark, but that's when they really come out. There's no simple blood test to detect mosquito antibodies and determine whether someone's been infected by a diseased pest. We usually diagnose it by a history of exposure and the symptoms. I always put repellent on her if she's outside playing, especially at dusk, though, I try to make sure she's protected. As the saying goes, an ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.